at a depth of 40 kilometers inside Russian-controlled territory, a $24 million mathematical equation is in motion. This isn't about territory, but about physics and time. On one side of the equation is the most valuable asset in Russia's artillery warfare, the 1L219 Zupark 1M counter-battery radar. Mounted on a nimble MTLB chassis, this system serves as the eyes and ears for Russian artillery. Its phased array antenna can simultaneously track four incoming projectiles, scanning the sky with computational speed to detect up to 70 firing positions per minute. Within seconds of a Ukrainian M777 howitzer firing from 12 kilometers away or a Grad rocket system from 40 kilometers, the Zupark 1M crew already has the coordinates for a counter-strike. To neutralize it isn't just to neutralize a vehicle, it is to blind the enemy's eyes and silence their artillery's echo. Its strategic value far exceeds its production cost. It is the guarantor of survival for Russian artillery units across the entire sector. On the other side of the equation, there is the Ukrainian solution, a targeting cycle perfected through hundreds of engagements. This solution begins not with an explosion, but with silence. A shark reconnaissance drone loitering undetected at an altitude of 3,000 meters, its slender wings designed for a four-hour flight endurance, not for speed. The shark's mission is not to attack, but to observe. Its stabilized optics, with 30 times zoom capability, become a persistent observer, turning patches of the landscape below into actionable target data. It is the first and most crucial step in the sensor-to-shooter cycle. The final step in this equation is an overwhelming force. The M142 HIMARS. Every M31 GMLRS rocket it launches carries a 90-kilogram fragmentation warhead guided by GPS with a circular error probable, or CEP, of under 10 meters. From its concealed launch position far behind Ukrainian lines, the HIMARS doesn't need to see its target. It only needs to listen to the digital whisper from an asset like the shark. The question isn't whether the HIMARS can hit the target. The question is, can the shark find and lock onto the Zupark 1M faster than the Russian radar crew's ability to detect the threat and displace? Near the village of Antonivka, on September 9th, this equation would be decisively tested. At 10, 10 hours, the hunt begins as the Shark UAV from the Shadow Unit reaches its designated patrol area, tens of kilometers to the northeast, near Vuladar. A parallel operation is underway. Six Ukrainian loitering munitions simultaneously engage Russian defensive positions. This attack is a feint. The damage is minimal, but its true purpose is to force the activation of Russia's main surveillance radars in the sector, particularly the 92N6E Gravestone radar of an S-400 battery. These high-power radar emissions create significant electronic noise, occupying Russian air defense operators and diverting their attention from a single, slow-moving threat like the Shark. It is amidst this diversion that the Zupark 1M at Antonivka makes a critical error. It activates its main radar to hunt for the Ukrainian artillery that had just fired. The powerful electromagnetic emissions from its antenna are instantly detected by the shark. The equation has been set in motion. At 10-12 hours, the Zupark 1M crew receives a warning. It likely doesn't come from the main diverted air defense network, but from their own low-level electronic warfare system, which may have detected the Shark drone's low-frequency data link. Their protocol is clear. Immediately cease radar emissions and displace. The MTLB's diesel engine roars, and the 14-ton vehicle quickly moves from its open position toward the cover of vegetation at a nearby tree line. This is a standard maneuver, a survival tactic practiced countless times. 
However, this tactic was designed to counter fleeting detection, not persistent surveillance. At 10.17 hours, the Zoo Park 1M has come to a stop under a dense tree canopy, its crew confident they have broken the enemy's targeting chain. They were wrong. Above them, the shark never lost contact. Its infrared optics easily distinguished the residual heat from the engine and radar array against the cooler surroundings. The Ukrainian operators were simply waiting for the target to stop moving. At 10.18 hours, new stable coordinates are locked. An encrypted data packet, less than a kilobyte in size, is sent from the Shark's ground control station, relayed across tens of kilometers to the Artillery Command Center. From there, the data is instantly forwarded to the combat management system of a waiting M142 HIMARS. The process from target lock to fire mission transmission takes less than 60 seconds. This is an absolute advantage in the sensor-to-shooter cycle. At 10.22 hours, far behind Ukrainian lines, an M31 GMLRS rocket erupts from its pod with a deafening roar, accelerating to Mach 2.5. Its high ballistic trajectory takes it to the edge of the atmosphere before descending almost vertically onto its target. For the Zoopark 1M crew, there is no warning, no sound of an approaching missile, only the silence before the end. The flight time from launch to impact, less than two minutes. At 10.24 hours, the first GMLRS rocket impacts. The explosion occurs about 20 meters short of the Zoo Park 1M's position. This was a minor error in the final calculation, or perhaps a deliberate bracketing shot. For the Russian crew, this was a moment of confirmation they were being hunted by precision artillery. They had seconds to react, but nowhere to run. Moments later, the second rocket arrives. This time, its guidance system is flawless. The 90-kilogram warhead detonates a few meters beside the vehicle. The blast itself is not enough to penetrate the MTLB's armor, but thousands of preformed tungsten fragments spread in every direction at hypersonic speeds. These fragments shred the complex and sensitive phased array antenna, destroy its internal electronics, and tear through hydraulic cables and external optics. Technically, the vehicle can still move, but its most crucial function, its ability to detect artillery, is gone. The Zoopark 1M has suffered a mission kill. Thanks for watching. See you in the next report.